WQNT. Good morning. <laughs> I'm your morning host, Brink Winkerman, and we're here together on WQNT <laughs> on your radio dial and streaming online. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's two minutes after the hour, and you know what that means. <laughs> that means it's time for traffic and weather. <laughs> now, for the past several weeks, we haven't been talking too much about traffic and weather. <laughs> I mean, when most of us are staying at home, the weather doesn't really matter, and there's not much traffic. <laughs> But now that our state governors are starting to force us into putting ourselves back out there, <laughs> well, we need to start paying attention to traffic again. Unfortunately, our old traffic weather reporter, Guy de Beaumontan, has disappeared. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, uh, uh, Guy has uh, disappeared. Uh, we haven't seen him in several weeks. Uh, if any of you out there know where Guy is, give us a call. <laughs> We'd love to hear from you. Until we find Guy, we're asking some celebrities to sit in on the traffic and weather desk. <laughs> we're sure you're just going to love it. Today, our special guest reporter is none other than acclaimed filmmaker and actor, Werner Herzog. <laughs> Take it away, Werner. Thank you, Brink. Custom compels me to wish you a good morning, although we know it is but a formality, a useless trifle that helps assuage our feelings of animosity and mistrust for one another. As we start to emerge from our cocoons into a world of disease and strife, we must once again devote some of our intellect to discerning the patterns of automotive traffic and weather conditions. We understand as we do this that we face an impossible task. The entropy of the universe forever lurks over us, shrouding any possible objective truth with diversion and decay. But still, we strive on, pushing boulders up the side of the hill, knowing that each day ends with yet another boulder on yet another hillside, equally unimportant and meaningless in the face of an all-powerful force of nature whose existence stuns us into frightened silence. Traffic is moving briskly this morning, with the exception of an accident on Interstate 35, southbound at Ben Zingelman. Be sure to slow down and feast your eyes upon the vanity of man, thinking that he could defy the natural laws that dictate his potential velocity. And in the weather, today will be yet another day in which the sun moves inexorably towards its own fiery cataclysmic end, casting the rays of heat from its death throes onto us. Will there be clouds? Will it make a difference? The shadow that passes over you may be a cloud, or it may be the folly of your own sense of importance as we stare, terrified, into the cold-blooded immensity of the universe. Back to you, Brink. Well, uh, 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 I, uh, I, uh, I guess I, I'll play a song. Well, it's 8.05 here, but it's 5 o'clock somewhere. 